Hey guys, Justin here, and in today's video, I want to address a question that I get asked pretty frequently, which is um, regarding music promotion services. I get asked all the time by artists, like, what do you think about this service or that service? And the reality is, if you have never spent any money on music promotion before and you're on a limited budget, most likely you're not even ready to start spending money on a third party music promotion service in the first place. So in this video, I want to explain why that is and what you can do to get yourself ready so you can start investing in music promotion and be sure that you get the best results possible. All right, so real quick before we get started, if you've not already signed up for your free copy of the Music Promotion Blueprint, go ahead and click the link in the video description to sign up for your free copy right now. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to it now and tick the little bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Also be sure to follow us on all the socials, at Social. it's the same on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you feel like you're ready to start investing in music promotion services to get your music out to more people, there's a few things that I want you to take into consideration before you invest in anybody, before you hire anybody to do your music promotion for you. So the first thing you need to realize is that there's no guarantee. We're not marketing to bots here. We're not marketing to robots. We're marketing to real people. So it's real people that are gonna hear your music and they still have to enjoy it and respond to it. So there's no possible way that you can guarantee that everybody's gonna like your music. And it's really difficult to expect any guaranteed results with any music promotion service. Now that being said, you can get very good results, but your results might vary from one artist to another. So, you know, one artist might use music promotion service A and get great results and use music promotion service B and get terrible results. While you might have the opposite experience where you have great results with music promotion service B, but you have terrible results with music promotion service A. So in order to figure out what services work best for you, you really just need to test. You need to try them out. You need to try different ones but you never want to invest more money than you can afford to lose because the reality of the situation is that some services aren't gonna work for you, some services are gonna work great, and some services might you know, work medium or whatever but not get you the best results or the results that you're expecting. So you just have to be aware of that when you invest in a music promotion service, you might not get the results you want. So never invest more money than you're willing to lose. So if you only have $500 to invest in music promotion, it's probably not a good idea to take that entire budget and invest in one service because you might end up losing it all. So what I recommend doing instead is start with platforms like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, because you can invest a very small amount of money and start testing and figuring out what works and how to get the best results using those platforms. You can invest five or $10 a day or even $10 a week just to get the ball rolling and get started and start figuring out what works for you. So not only are you able to figure out what works and start promoting your music with a very small budget, you're also getting some really good data and some really good feedback because after you've been doing this for a little while and you know how many new fans you can get with a $500 investment in Facebook ads, then when you take $500 and you invest that in a third party music promotion service, then you can compare your results that you get from the service with what you know you could get with Facebook. So if you can get 500 new fans with a $500 investment in Facebook and you only get 100 fans with your $500 investment in this music promotion service, then you know you would have been better off putting that money into Facebook ads and don't use that service again. Okay, so that's a couple of things that you need to think about right out of the gate. But the most important thing, and this is really key, is that you need to have a system in place for monetizing your fan base, for making money from the new fans that you're getting. So you have to have some stuff for sale like music, merchandise, so t-shirts, hoodies, posters, whatever. You can have uh, live concert tickets, meet and greets, you just need to have some way of making money from your fan base before you go and spend money on advertising. Because if for every dollar you spend on advertising, you get a new fan and make a dollar on the back end by selling music and merchandise, then you can take that money and reinvest in more ads. So if you're on a limited budget and you take $500 and invest it to get more fans, that's great. But if you're not making money from those fans, then now all you have are some new fans, which is not, not a bad thing, that's what we want, right? But if you take $500 and invest that and get a few new fans, that's not quite as good as being able to invest $5, get new fans, and then get your $500 back so you can reinvest in more ads. Then you get more fans, and then you get more money back, and you keep reinvesting, and then your fan base grows and grows and grows, and you're not spending more money out of your own pocket. 
So the most important thing that you have to have in place before spending any money on advertising or any type of music promotion, you need to have a system in place that's gonna allow you to make money from the new fans that you acquire so you can reinvest that money spend it more on promotion and then get more fans and then grow your fan base. It keeps growing and growing and growing that way. All right, so if you don't have a system like that in place, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there's a free ebook in the video description called the Music Promotion Blueprint. You can grab your copy right now and it's going to give you more details about how you can set up that type of system. So you can invest a little bit of money, get some fans, make your money back and reinvest and grow your fan base. I also have a video course that'll walk you through the entire process step-by-step step in video form. So by the time you're done going through the course and following along with all the videos, you're gonna have Facebook ads live running, getting you new fans every single day with a very small budget of $5 a day or less. And you'll be monetizing those fans so you can reinvest in more ads. And if you set up the system the way that I show you, it actually runs on autopilot so that you're not managing it every single day. So that you're getting new fans every day, whether you're at work, at school, asleep, you're getting new fans every day, you're monetizing those fans, and then you're able to reinvest that money so that you can grow and grow and grow your following. So go ahead and check out the free copy of Music Promotion Blueprint in the video description. And if you do want that extra step-by-step -step help of following along in video form, that course is available in the description as well. It's Music Promotion Machine. You can get access also at musicpromotionmachine.com. And also remember, once you do have a system like that in place, then you might be ready to go and hire a third-party service to promote your music for you as well. You just have to remember, there's no guarantees. You wanna test different services, figure out what actually works for you, and never invest more money than you're willing to risk and willing to lose, because not every music promotion service is actually going to get you the results you want. Another tip, if you ever come across a music promotion service that's promising a certain number of fans, certain number of follows, certain number of streams, for a specific amount of money, like a thousand new followers on Spotify for a hundred dollars, that's all bogus. Stay away from that stuff. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, uh, please feel free to share it with somebody that you think might get some value out of it. And also be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button now and tick the little bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.